couldn't handle it. And I uh, just started to self-medicate. Mm -hmm. I got into a really bad car accident on January 4th of uh, 2022, flipped my car, uh, got arrested. Um, however, they dropped all the charges because there was no drugs in my system nor alcohol, so they dropped them. Um, but it, it just sent me backwards, mm -hmm. you know, for several months. So I would say from November to February, I went backwards and then I went, I went away and I started doing uh, trauma work. And then I started to understand what was wrong with me and why I tick the way I do and why I do the things that I do. So my personality for a man that has a personality like mine, it's probably, it, it's, it's choppy waters because I want to be that lady, but mm -hmm. I'm afraid you're going to do to me what the last guy did because he was strong. Mm. He was this. He was that. Right. How am I supposed to believe you? Right. I, I've been treated a certain way by my family, but you want me to trust you. How am I going to trust you? My, you, my family did it to me. So right. how am I going to trust you? So in step three, uh, you know, in recovery, it's like you turn your will over to God. So I turn it over and then I want it right back. Mm -hmm. and, and I've done that with my recovery for many, many years. But I'm realizing that there, I don't have control over everything. I don't have control over another human. What you're going to do, you're going to do. I can't stop you from doing it. I might prolong it. Right. I might find out about it, but you did it. You already did it to me. Right. So I think that has shaped me into the person I am and, you know, why we could sit there and have this conversation. You know, I'm a strong, yes, I am a strong woman, but I will be damned if I lay down for a man and let him walk on me. Not dead. And I've been dead a couple times, mm. not dead. Mm. So for me now in my life, I think uh, going forward and dating, I, I want someone who is solid. Just be solid. Just be something I like every day. Just be my friend. Mm. Money, we can make that all day long. Just be the man you say you are. Mm. Be the man that I'm asking you to be. If you can't be that, you could go. Because mm. like you came, someone else will come. Mm. So it's not like, you know, there's not a shortage on men. There might be a shortage on good women right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have we a gonna question. We're going to get letters it's, about that. That's a fact. Is no it, arguments. No <laughs> arguments. <laughs> isn't it, isn't it like, do you feel like it's unfortunate that you, you came up, and this is for many women out there, right? Mm -hmm. Not only yourself, that you come up in such a, patri a patriarchal, right, living situation, right? And the way your life was, the way you lived your life was based off of how you were raised. Right. What you were indoctrinated with. Yes. Right. And then you get it later on in life because obviously God has a purpose for you because you're mm -hmm. still here. Right. Mm -hmm. So do you feel like it's unfortunate that you grow up that way and you don't get it till way later? Oh, a lot of things in my life were unfortunate. Uh, my father should have told me to go to work. My father mm. should have never told me this is your life. A man takes care of you. You don't do nothing. Um, mm. There was a lot of things that I learned later on, that I wish I would have learned earlier on. Um, and that's a big one, like for me. I, I'm the type of one I, I'm used to being taken care of. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll take care of everything we have to at home, but I, why do I have to work? Um, and that's a really big one. But I think what I'm learning about myself is my father doled out everything he did at the proper time. He didn't give it to me early on because I was the very sensitive child. I have two, my older sister and my youngest sister is a Scorpio, and they're like oh, the two of them. But me, I got oh, oh my god, <laughs> I got all of the the emotion. Every everything they're missing, I got it. Right. Um, so right. I don't think with my head; I think with my heart. And, mm -hmm. and shame on me for that. But I think my father gave it out to me the way it needed to be given out. But when he died, I was like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. He was teaching me all along. But I was just too busy being like the girl in the house. And, mm -hmm. you know, I didn't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it's like buckle up. And I have, you know, I fell apart. There were two years of my life. But I was a mess. Mm. I was a mess. I mean, but who wouldn't? Oh, uh, you yeah, know what? Yeah. My sisters didn't. They but but, but I'm, I'm pretty sure they didn't go through the same things oh. that you did. I mean, I, I imagine 
being in a marriage, not only are you going through uh, abuse and you're trying to cope with uh, insecurities that this man has and he's injected them into you, but then he turns around and he takes away your protector. Like, what was, what was that moment like where you found out? Like, what, what was going on when you found out, oh, he, he's the one telling on my dad? My husband. Yeah, that's crazy. It was on television that I found out. Because mm. it was in real time. It was happening in real time. Mm. And um, This was during the show? This was during Mob Wives. Yeah. It was all in real time. And they made each girl come to the house with a newspaper that read, Mob Wives star hubby is a snitch. And I had to go through that seven different times with seven different women. And I kept saying, it's not possible. No way. He's the killer. <laughs> no way. No way. Yeah. And um, I called my dad. I was like, Dad, I can't find him. He's not in, you know, MDC. I got the number. I got the lawyer. I got the house. Da, da, da. He's like, Renee, my, and my father, I swear to God, he said, mind your fucking business. I was like, Daddy. You know, and he's like, Renee, I'm telling you, sit this one out. And the doorbell rang. And there's this horrible scream on Mob Wives. I was actually on the phone with my dad and my nephew, Justin, goes, Poppy, it's the police. And my father was only home three months after 12 years. Mm. And they took him. And he's like, if you come here, it's going to be a murder case. Stay the fuck over there. Mind your fucking business. That's all he kept saying. I was like, but daddy, I don't understand. I don't understand. He's like, you're going to, Renee. Next day, two of my dear friends came to the house. And they said, we're going to put the money up. We're going to go inside and look for him. You know, see if he's there. They came back and they told me he's not there. He was calling me. So I was gonna take his word over anybody else's at that particular time. And he admitted it. What did he say? He said he cooperated. Mm. Why? What was his reason? <laughs> the bitch. Cause he couldn't fucking do 33 fucking years. And he had to say like, oh, the feds got the, the death penalty. The feds don't have the fucking death penalty. They have it, but you're not dying. Right. Like you, you pussied out, like you're a punk. I'd spit on him if I saw him. Hmm. I think he's evil. I just think that's evil. My father was going to adopt him and give him that Italian last name he needed. Wow. wow. Oh, crazy. you guys have like no clue. Wow. That was crazy. Wow. Like he was more the son than I was the daughter. I was like the daughter-in-law. Like my father loved this man. Like it was his flesh and blood. Mm. So the feeling I had was empty. I was empty. I had a nervous breakdown on television. I spent about 10 days in the hospital. <laughs> I don't think I've ever truly recovered from anything that I've experienced at that magnitude. I think I just, you know, went along the way and if I could self-medicate, I did. Or, you know, um, looking for the relationships in all the wrong people. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, but this is me. And I'm still here. And I'm still standing. And I, my son is 28 and he's good. I have four grand, well, two and two t twin girls any day now. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. whatever God's plan is, is a lot more important than whatever I think it should be. This is hot for trap trapper turns smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf you heard.